So today I'm gonna do uh, sound design with uh, different clips that I have for a project and I'm gonna show you how I do it with this tool. So this is the platform that we're gonna use. It's called mmaudio.net and it's very straightforward. We're just going to drop some footage. I already have some shots here to use. First, we're gonna start with this one. The only thing is that this only this can only make uh, sound design for eight seconds. I think you can uh, push it to, to 10, but it, it starts distorting and doing weird things. You can just put a prompt here. I always go to um, organic from video. That's our first approach. And we're going to let it work. It's just gonna take a couple of seconds. It's fairly fast. The good thing about this tool is that it lets you do one render a day for free, completely free. If you want to get like the full access, you just need to pay $10 a month. So if you do content regularly, this is a good uh, tool for you because uh, sometimes you just need like a quick sound. It will only take a couple of minutes. It says 21 seconds, but it was a bit longer than that. And we can just play it. So in the first iteration, it was kind of, um, it was kind of too happy. I just want something more ambient. So I'm just going to, just gonna change the prompt a little bit. I just changed the, the word from ambient to ambient. Every time that you change a word in a prompt, it makes a, a significant change. So you have to be very careful about the words that you use. And let's see the second iteration. So it's still giving me a, a bit of music and I don't want any music. So I'm just going to ask uh, in a different way I'm just giving it a few more instructions in a bit more specific way uh, like a sound landscape from video exterior and a near lake with water breeze and flowers around uh, negative prompt I'm just gonna put no music only organic sounds from video I'm just gonna generate again so you can do this with the paid subscription as many times as you want and you can also do like different layers like you can start with a layer of organic sound and then go uh, and do like another layer of maybe music uh, different instruments I mean, you can just like create your own sounds to do the sound design with this. I'm just gonna listen to it. And now this is what I wanted. This is perfect. I'm just gonna re reproduce it again so you can hear it. I want this kind of sounds because I'm planning to do a sound design with all of the sounds of nature and const con contrast them with the sounds of the city and like kind of create a illusion, an illusion between the two worlds. So with this, this works, I'm going to put another one and I'm just going to leave the same, the same prompt because it's the same location. It's a different shot, but it's same location. And I think that what, what it kind of did the, the work was the negative prompt that we did. A negative prompt, if you're not familiar to it, it's kind of like saying what you don't want in the image, or in this case, the sound. It takes away some possibilities, so, and it's better to be specific with AI. Okay, let's hear this sound. I mean, this is just perfect. It, it matches really really good i'm just going to remove the wind
because I did I I I, I say that there there was a breeze, but the AI interpreted as a sound on a microphone, and that's kind of like a technical mistake. So um, let's just change that and see what it what it does. And this is perfect because it doesn't have that sound of the wind. I'm just going to save it. So it already did this uh, and this is perfect just so that will be it for today i hope you like this video if you like please subscribe and see you on the next one cheers